yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another bigger video for you guys Now, as you guys can tell by the J.I. Galaxy going crazy above me in that red seat belt around my shoulder. You dig what I'm saying? We are currently in Vader, my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE 10-speed automatic. Um, and as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, it has been six months since I've taken delivery of Vader, bro. best time for me to give my honest opinion, my honest review of the car, and, you know, after owning it for six months, you know, I know I did, like, the five things I love about the car and the five things I hate about the car, so I feel like six months in, this is kind of just, like, you know, like, okay, where are you with the car, like, it's been, it's been a while since you've, you know, that you've owned the car, you've been able to drive you know, the car every day and spend some more time with it, you know, like, how do you, do you still have those same issues with the, you know, the five things that you didn't like and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, basically, I'm going to keep it a buck. Um, if you guys didn't tap in with the five things I hate about this car uh, video, pretty much I took care of all of the things that I didn't like about the car from... I forgot to roll the window down for y'all, bro. I'm sorry. But that was a little tough, so I had to, you know, get on the gas just a little bit. 3.4 miles. Um, Turn right onto Harvest Corner Drive. Appreciate you, sir. Appreciate you. But anyway, like I was saying, y'all, um, basically, man, six months in, what it's been like living with Vader, what it's been like living with a 1LE. Um, honestly, bro, amazing. Phenomenal. I've loved every single second, every single minute, every single day of owning this car bro honestly bang for your buck you can't beat it bro i'm gonna be honest with you the powertrain is just top tier um for an na car as these 10 speeds are for you know mustang and camaro the 10 speed transmission is just crazy and that 6.2 Pretty sure you guys heard that. That LT1 motor from Chevy is just crazy in comparison with that transmission, man. Look, let me tell you, this car moves and hauls, as you guys have seen, as a lot of people lined up next to me have seen. You know what I'm saying? This car moves, man. So, honest opinion, bro. Like, Chevy did they think with this car, bro. It looks good, it performs just as good, if not better. The interior. It's like, it's an astronomical difference from what the fifth gen was. From going back to when I had a V6 Camaro Hazel, bro. It was a 2011 fifth gen Camaro. It was a base model Camaro, so the interior was like to the bone, trash, you feel me? And going from, you know, starting from there and getting it into a 2SS and now a 1LE, it's just like seeing the growth from Chevy and, and how they literally like listened to the consumer and, and and took into account, you know, what the consumer is saying. Kudos to Chevy, man. This car is so fun to drive. This car, like, it makes you, it's honestly a driver's car. The only thing that kind of like takes away if you want to go to like an older enthusiast, um, is the fact that it's an automatic. If it was a six-speed Tremec manual transmission, 
then you know what I'm saying it will for sure be driver's car and that's what the one LE is that's the whole point of the one LE it's honestly not to be going down the drag strip man it's it's for taking these turns man you know putting the power down to the ground taking a turn going through autocrosses going through like tail of the dragon like stuff like that bro that's what this car was made for in the turns man I had let me tell y'all this car is so planted it's ridiculous like literally ridiculous you can take a turn I'm not gonna say the speed but you can take a turn at a very high speed and, and the car will not like sway or nothing like it's planted so like honestly bro there's really nothing that I can say that I don't like about this car um, are there some things that I want you know to put on the car and stuff like that hell yeah are they coming Hell yeah. Stay in the right Should place. you subscribe? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Should you turn on your post notifications if you're already subscribed? Of course. Of course. Did you like I'll wait? Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? I'm 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 building this car into the ZLE and that part of the build is actually coming way faster than I expected so just just stay tuned because me and Manny are working on some some heat right now okay we're working on some heat right now you feel me I'm trying to tell you when I say me and Manny are working on some look bro Vader is about to be insane I don't want to throw horsepower numbers out there but For sure, low nine second car. Easy. I'm just saying, so the next couple months are about to get real spicy because I'm trying to have the car done by my birthday. So with that being said, man, six months in, um, is there any complaints, anything that I would change, any pet peeves, um, you know, as the car sits? No, man. Have I had any hiccups with the car? As you guys know, I had that one hiccup with the drive shaft, the bolts being loose, the drive shaft that's actually breaking. Um, but other than that, man, literally no, no issues at all, no problems. Um, I was actually about to do a quick little pull for you guys under this tunnel, but 12 is literally, has just pulled somebody over right in front of me. So I don't need, I don't need no smoke. But, um, yeah, man, the car has been phenomenal, as I would expect, out of a, you know, basically brand new car that I got it at 10,000 miles, 2021. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, man. Um, one of the things that I was worried about, honestly, was the Alcantara on the steering wheel and on the shifter. But, bro, they've held up great. Um, so... Uh, I have no complaints, man. I really thought that I was going to have to change the steering wheel a lot sooner. Um, but it's still holding on strong, so I'm not going to change it. But y'all already know it's decked out in that carbon fiber. More carbon fiber to come. Make sure you stay tuned to the YouTube, to the IG. Um, the summer drop is coming very, very soon, man. So if, if, if you haven't already, you know what I'm saying, just, just start getting ready because... We, we coming with some with some straight heat, you feel me? But without further ado, y'all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the kid. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys are hyped for the merch drop. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go ahead and roll that outro, baby. I'm out of here.